Well, hi everybody. You know, we had some rain come through here during the early part of the day today. We got six hundredths. There's the rain right there. Six hundredths of an inch of rain. So for the month, we're no longer at zero for precipitation. We're at six hundredths of an inch. We're still lagging as far as overall precipitation, even for this year so far, but at least we're headed in the right direction. It's down to 47 degrees right now after a high today of 50. Linton has 50, Robinson 51, only 52 degrees. So it's still quite mild. Effingham has 52 degrees and Casey 47. It will continue to be mild now that we're melting some of the snow off and we get this rain in here, uh, it'll be mild. It's a west breeze right now at six miles per hour. Kind of a northwest breeze in Paris. Mattoon, a northwest breeze at eight, and Effingham northwest at five. What we're going to find with the wind, it's going to be very shifty over the next 24 hours as a couple of weather systems come and go. Uh, right now, it's 57 in Kansas City. Memphis has 56, 79 in Miami, 47 here in Terre Haute, and Detroit has 46 degrees. I really want to get to what's going on down here in Texas, where heavy amounts of rain and some thunderstorms also possible down here. So they're getting some rocky weather, and this whole weather system is edging its way up, and that's one of the reasons that we have some rain moving into our area. So here's a look at the Storm Team future cast through the nighttime hours tonight. Here's 6 o'clock, now here's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, and we've got some rain starting to move in. So the very first part of the day tomorrow probably will be dry, but as we get into about noon, most likely we'll have rain. So rain developing during the middle part of the day tomorrow, and then continuing through tomorrow evening, and then we get into some heavier amounts of rain. Here's Friday at uh, or Thursday at midnight, and then here's Friday at 4 a.m. It could be really pouring down rain. So I think we're going to get a fair amount of rain over the next couple of days, and that's something that we'll continue to monitor for you for the potential for some at least lowland flooding along the rivers. Increasing clouds a little colder tonight, 30 or 29 degrees for the overnight low. Then rain likely tomorrow, a chilly breeze, a high of 46. Uh, tomorrow night, more rain likely. You'll notice the temperature doesn't, doesn't drop. It stays at 46 degrees, stays steady with an east breeze, kind of a chilly breeze at 15 miles per hour. And then the seven day forecast, we still have temperatures climbing up into the 50s uh, through Saturday, but then Saturday we go from 58 to a low of 37, and that's when I think we might have the possibility of a thunder shower coming in. And of course, we'll continue to watch that for you. And then by the first of next week, it's back to wintry weather with a chance for snow.